I'm going to show you how easy it is to fit shutters. With the frame assembled and the battens fitted, lift the shutter frame into the window recess. I've placed two wedges onto the window sill to help me position the frame. There should be a 5mm clearance gap between the frame and the wall. Hold the frame in place by inserting the plastic wedges. Make sure they're fitted in tight to stop the frame falling forward. You can then position the frame centrally within the window. I normally stand back and check it by eye, make sure it's fairly equal all the way around. You're then ready to fit the shutters in place. Start with the left hand shutter as this closes first. The hinges are pre-fitted to the shutter and the frame. Connect the two parts together and secure them by dropping the hinge pin between them. You can now do the same with the right hand shutter. If you have bifolding shutters, you'll need to connect the bifolds together before fitting them in the frame. Once the shutters are fitted in the frame, you can start to line things up. Make sure the top and bottoms of the shutters line up with each other and they fit squarely within the frame. Start to line up the frame within the recess. Do this by moving the frame left and right and moving the wedges in and out. On smaller windows like this one, you can check the gap with your fingertips too. Stand back and check the clearance gap is fairly equal all the way around the window. You're now ready to screw the frame into place. When I put the frame together, I put the screw supplied in the pre-drilled holes to make fixing easier. If your window has a deep recess, make sure the chuck of the drill doesn't rub on the side of the wall. You can use an extension bit like this. Being able to fix the frame with the shutters in position is one of the key features of the EasyFit frame. It makes the whole process really easy. Continue fixing all around the frame until all the screws are screwed into place. Remove the wedges from the corners as these are only required during fitting. One of the last jobs is to pop in the insert strips to cover up the screw holes. In the standard range, these are a tight push fit. In the elite range, there's double sided pads stuck on the back of the inserts. I'm fitting the elite shutters now. You can see they just push simply into the surrounding groove. With the inserts fitted, and if you're happy the way the shutters open and close, there's one final screw to put in each of the hinges to lock them in position. The shutters I fitted for this video are actually remote control. You can operate them with a handheld remote. And that's how quick and easy it is to fit shutters.